The essence of the Narnia Code is, is simply this. There are seven heavens. There, there were, it was believed, seven heavens surrounding Earth many centuries ago, uh, according to old astronomers. And each heaven had its own planet, and each planet had its own set of qualities and characteristics. And C.S. Lewis described this sevenfold system of the planets as, as a set of spiritual symbols of permanent value, which he thought were especially worthwhile in his own generation. C.S. Lewis took the, the imagery of the seven heavens and he, and he turned it to Christian effect so that each of the qualities of the planets becomes, if you like, a different aspect of his presentation of Aslan, a different way of understanding Christ's nature. So that Jupiter, for instance, Jupiter was the kingly planet associated with kingship. And the lion, the witch and the wardrobe is the Jupiter story in which kingship is the, is the main thread of the story. Aslan is introduced as a king and the children become kings and queens at the end of the story. The second book, Prince Caspian, is the Mars book. Mars, as everybody knows, is, is, the, is associated with war. And here uh, Aslan is presented as, as the one who summons everyone to the final battle with a great uh, war cry. In the Bible, God is sometimes called the Lord of Hosts, mighty in battle. And it's that aspect of the divine nature that Lewis is, is emphasizing in Prince Caspian. In The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, it's the sun which provides the symbolism at the heart of the story. I hope that the Narnia Code book will show readers that the Narnia Chronicles are much more carefully structured and composed than they may previously have thought. That actually these books are very subtle and artistic. They're works of genius, I think. They're actually the products of a very disciplined and careful and learned imagination, working at the height of its career. I mean, Lewis was really at the summit of his, of his productivity when he wrote the Narnia books. I hope that readers of the Narnia Code will also learn a great deal about the cosmos and the history of the cosmos. They will learn things like how these seven heavens give us the names of the days of the week, for instance. They will learn how Mars is related to March. They will learn how the word influenza is related to the planetary influences. All sorts of interesting, fascinating little tidbits like that. But above all, I, I hope that readers of the Narnia Code will, will learn something about the Christian faith and C.S. Lewis's belief that the heavens are telling the glory of God, that material creation has spiritual significance, and that there are signs of God, there are traces of the divine in his creation, and that all things speak of him in some way, if only we have ears to hear it.